Well, a big hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel and the historical village of Clavelli here in North Devon. Now, Clavelli has an admission charge into the village. It's £8.50, and that includes your parking. You go through the visitor centre, and the village retains some of much of its historical charm and beauty and we're gonna be exploring this wonderful village as we go along and i hope you enjoy the episode everybody the um are we? that's the thing we spoke about that devil's yeah. thing or something and then there's a waterfall there as well isn't there so we'll do some of the coastal paths as well while, whilst we're here this is where we are at the moment. So that's where that is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So and and this way is where the waterfall is. So so we we'll do the village and then we'll go. So we we'll do this and, and we'll do this yeah and then that little short. Yeah. So I guess it must be in that direction, yeah. yeah. Like some kind of. <laughs> well, it's been bricked up. Whatever that tunnel might have been used for. It's like a passageway underneath that road, doesn't it? Methodist Chapel. So there's a Methodist Chapel somewhere up in this direction. Should have a little look. It's been down there. So at the moment we've just come into the Methodist Chapel here in the village of Cloverley. of the people, community, and events of Clavelli, as well as the past, present, and future of this church and Methodism in general. The videos include something of interest to everyone, from the casual visitor to the devout. So prepare to be entertained, educated, and Looks like the history of the actual Methodist chapel dates from 1811. It says an indenture of lease granted by the Hamlin, by the Hamlin family to the trustees in 1811. And then another indenture of lease was granted in 1817. 
and there was a historical fire here through this village as well and it looks like it reopened in 1852 and we've got a copy of those first entries there in the baptismal records. So the first entries of the baptismal registers of the church begun after the opening of the restored building in 1852. St. Peter's Chapel. There's a Charles Kingsley Museum, and he's the one that named the nearby Providence oh, House, Fisherman's Cottage. So, if you see the living room, then that big bedroom is extra as well. So, it's just got some that side, which was that little bedroom, does it? It's just like, it's Wow. Socks hanging up in the corner. So it says actually here about the village, <clears throat> it says if we enter from the top of the hill we must in the local language go down along or downtown and since nine tenths of the visitors will probably arrive by motor car we will start from the new garage but up until 1914 almost all visitors arrived by steamer from Ilfric home and Cardiff so most people arrived here at Cloverleaf by boat. That's interesting. Isn't it? plaster here on the wall everybody. You can see the cottage is made from cobbled stones and the putty gets pushed into those joints. Now we're gonna head upstairs.
Yeah, the bedroom's interesting now. It's just a bit of master bedroom, wasn't it? For men must work and women must weep, and there's little to earn and many to keep. So that was that's Providence House, everybody, just in front of us there. Charles Kingsley is connected to that novel, Westwood Ho, written in 1855, and it was a very popular book. And as a result, they named the village, that coastal village, Westwood Ho, after that book. <laughs> 